What is going on everyone? We're back for another video and today, as you can tell, it's pretty miserable out. So we're gonna be doing kind of a ride along with our buddy Dave, and he's pulling up right now, but we're gonna tell you all the mods he has done to his 2019 F-150 EcoBoost. We'll get into it now. Guys, we are in Dave's Eco Boost, so we're just gonna kind of explain all the mods. Five, guys. This kid wants five guys, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, but that's besides the point. We're gonna walk you through all the mods we've done to this truck and kind of a timeline and how we can push over 500 horsepower on what is it, E85? Uh, E85 would be about five. No, well, the E50 tune is guesstimated around 510, 520. An e E85, if you get a supporting fuel pump, which I don't have yet, or if I'm even gonna get one, uh, about like 560. This thing can push serious, serious power on all stock internals, which is pretty incredible. But uh, yeah, what was the first mod you did to this? Uh, first mod that we did was the blow off valve. Uh, not exactly a performance mod, but yeah. you know, it sounds cool. Turbo Smart brand, makes, right? Makes, yeah, it's a Turbo Smart. Yeah. Uh, supersonic, I believe it was. Mm. Or not supersonic, or uh, something sonic. <laughs> Sounds great. Makes a nice little. Yeah, let's see if we could hear that. Yeah, so if you're into that sound with the uh, the eco boost, I think it sounds incredible. Yeah, the Turbo Smart blow off valve wasn't exactly cheap, but it's very good quality, and there's not many other brands that make the blow off valves for this truck, so I would recommend going. The, uh, the turbo smart way. I think Dave can attest to that. Absolutely. So. Uh, over a year, only had to clean it once, and even then it wasn't too dirty. Just a little bit of oil just to keep everything moving inside, and you know, it kind of moved, you know, same principle as an engine. You just gotta keep it oiled and clean. So that was the first mod we did to this, if you wanna call it a mod. What was the, what was the second one we did? I believe it was the intake. Yeah, so we did the dual AFE performance intake. Yeah. Magnum stage two, uh, three and a half inch all the way down to the turbos, and it, it's 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 loving it. The, the turbos are absolutely loving all day. Since each turbo now has its own dedicated intake, uh, it's it, it sucks in so much air, and it you just can't go wrong. The thing is really clean looking, very high quality, good product. I'd recommend it overall. So the third thing we did to this 2019 F-150 truck is the SPD Performance catted downpipe. Go forward more. Get that back side up. Do that thing. And then it has to go over. Yeah, like that. Okay. All right. I got mine on. We got the downpipe in now. Everything's tightened up. We got it connected to the turbo flange. That's all tightened down. We got it to the resonator tightened down. We got this tightened down. That company is very high quality, and I would definitely recommend any parts they have to offer. Number one, they're made in America. Number two, hell yeah. Um, nah, just working with them was pretty great. Their shipping time was great. They had it out in just a, you know, honestly, like two or three days. They're located what out west or uh, down Oregon. south? Oregon. Oregon, yeah. I think that was, and they, uh, they just a, just a cool bunch of guys. Um, you know, good good quality product. I haven't had any issues. No exhaust leaks. Uh, there's no rust at all. It's all it's all good quality stainless. Yeah. So we live in New Jersey where there's you know the, the harsh winters, salt and all that. So surprise, no rust. So other than that, I mean, I I again I think say so we got the catted, um, just because I don't feel like dealing with getting a check engine light and possibly failing emissions if I end up keeping the truck for a long time and have to get inspected after a few after five years so everything's holding up so far for them uh, we also did the the turbo outlets with them we got the SPD turbo adapter you can see the difference in the diameter stock performance big difference obviously got the gasket and we're just gonna pretty much redo the procedure process put the studs in put the gasket on put the adapter then we can finally install the downpipe completely and that's it. 
that's just to increase a, you know, a little bit more flow. Uh, that was it for the exhaust. So overall, SPD is a great company, great customer service, quick shipping, great products. So thumbs up to you guys for that. Now Dave is holding off on any type of exhaust, such as the catback for now. He doesn't like most of the catback sounding exhaust, just period. So probably gonna keep it stock for now unless he saves up a little bit of chunk change and gets that Corsa exhaust, because that's something he would buy. But what is this lady Seriously? doing? Seriously, Jesus. So the fourth thing we did this truck, last but not least, is the tune. So Dave knows the most about this. I'm just gonna have him take the floor. Uh, so uh, tuned by Five Star Tuning down in Florida, South Carolina. Uh, they, I have a couple different tunes from them. Uh, my daily tune, not in this weather or winter for the most part, I should drive the stock now, is the 93 Performance tune. Oh, <laughs> That's ridiculous. A <laughs> leaf just flew into the car, bro. Jesus, bro. Oh my God, my guy. God. My guy. 28. Wow. Ninety-three performance. Uh, if you guys remember seeing our video, the dyno. Uh, our first full send pull was a, uh, a stock tune, three hundred and fifty wheel horse at fifty-three hundred RPM, and three hundred seventy-eight pound-feet of torque at thirty-seven fifty RPM. Our uh, largest full send pull, which was after after a couple runs of, uh, of uh, tuning, was four hundred sixty-eight wheel horse at fifty-five fifty RPM and 533 pound-feet of torque at 3200 rpm so massive gains the power band not sure how well you guys can see it's much more even it's, it's a lot nicer looking it stays powerful all the way through as you can see on the stock tune it just it dropped off more towards the end uh, this is, stays steady and this is probably the boring part of the video i know it's just stats and numbers but we just wanted to Prove that you know if you get a dyno tune, you could really wake up the beast. Seriously, full sun boys, exactly. Their E50 tune, which is another thing that I learned from them, uh, pushes quite a bit of power, also uh, significant gains, but not nothing massive. Uh, E85 is a tune that they sell, uh, but these EcoBoost engines they need sometimes, depending on each truck, needs a different fuel pump uh, just to push that extra bit of fuel. In. Ideally, we want to try and test out whatever, like the E85 or the E50 in the summer once it gets warmer out. Right now, it's in the middle of January, so it's not ideal. It is what it is, but the summer, we're trying to do some track runs, some track days, definitely with this truck and the Mustang, GTI, so on and so forth. So hopefully, I don't know, you think you'll need the upgraded fuel pump or upgraded? If I, if I do E85, then yes. <coughs> E50, everything else. Yeah. So... We'll see what happens in the spring or summer once the track opens and track season starts. But for now, keeping it stock. Can we do I'll, meth? Can we do meth? Yeah. It's your truck, I'm down. <laughs> that would be nuts. Uh, meth injections. So that pretty much wraps up everything we've done to this truck so far. Dave just got a shamrock shake. Pretty oh, pumped yeah. about that. But um, yeah, we got the, the tune, which is the biggest mod in our opinion. We got the um, SPD downpipe. We got the dual intake and then blow off valve. We're keeping it minty, boys. So for now, during the winter months, until it gets the spring, warms up a little bit, we're gonna run the stock tune and just keep it as it is. It's pretty cold every day, so we can't really film outside too much, especially with the truck here. Um, but come spring, mid spring, late spring and summertime, definitely stay tuned. We're trying to do track days, like I said before. Really, Dave? <laughs> Yeah, we're trying to do track days. We're trying to do more mods to this. My truck, the Mustang GTI, all the uh, parts on the channel. GTI. Yeah, thanks so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Peace. Oh my God. Two, three, four. High brake boost. Oh boy. So I'm gonna get my seatbelt on here. I'm going to 2,500. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Dude. Wow. Oh, my seatbelt's locked. God. <laughs> Yo, he just shit his. <laughs>